Okay, so I'm going to show you the world's yummiest marshmallow treats just using three ingredients. That's marshmallow, um, any cereal. So this is Rice Krispies or I use these Oreo. You can use any favorite cereal that you like and it's nutritious um, for your kids and yourself too. And the butter. And this one right here is vanilla essence. This is optional, but this is going to take your uh, treats to the next level of yumminess. So I highly recommend vanilla essence, but if you don't have it, you can only make these Rice Krispie marshmallow treats using cereal or Rice Krispies, marshmallows, and a little bit of butter. Non salted is better. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to take approximately five of these marshmallows and because I have big ones, I'm just going to cut them into tiny pieces like this and this recipe you can never um, go wrong with. So even if you go a little bit out of proportion, um, it's always going to be super delicious. So I just cut them into th uh, tiny pieces pieces like this one sometimes you get packets that are already very small this is what's going to make the best part of um, the rice crispy or the um, marshmallow treats because you can even toss it in hot coffee or hot tea or hot milk uh, especially for kids they will love it it's like hot chocolate bombs without the chocolate in it but this marshmallow these bits are the ones that are going to show in the treats and then the kids are going to see it and love to eat it while the rest of your marshmallow ingredients is going to be all healthy and whole grain so five of them approximately I took and I cut them into small pieces now in a separate pan um, I'm going to on a very low heat I'm going to take about three tablespoons of butter and I'm just going to melt it and just know the trick here is just keep um, the flame really low so the marshmallows are not going to burn and the butter is just melted in this there is really no cooking it's all um, a game of melting at the right temperature and just patience so just keep it melted now this is already melted um, it shouldn't be bubbling so now I'm going to add approximately six marshmallows in it and going to keep the heat super duper low I'm going to show you so it's so there's approximately three, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Okay, the heat is super duper low. You can check the flame. There you go. And now I'm going to just leave them there and they're going to melt. We just want them, you see, they're already starting to melt. If, you, if the heat is too high or even medium, then the marshmallows are going to burn and they're going to get hardened. You don't want them. You just want to melt them so it's a paste. While they're on low flame and getting uh, melted, I'm going to tell you the pro proportion of the cereal. So we're going to, once they're melted, um, I took this one measuring cup. Um, of cereal so I'm going to add two of these uh, measuring cups two cup cereal last time I used two and a half cup of uh, cereal um, the treat was a little bit uh, falling apart not too much it still was lovely but this is just going to be the perfect proportion if you want to make it but again, it's going to matter what cereal you're using um, and all of that. So this one right here is just going to add to the sweetness. You can see it's already starting to melt. I kept it really low. Stirring it just helps it. It helps the marshmallows um, to 
to melt faster without getting burned. But maybe I need to get the heat even lower because you see the brown color, the sugar is being caramelized. You don't want that. So I will just almost, you can see the flame is invisible there. So, and in this mixture, now this is all super nicely melted. I'm going to, I actually did it a little faster just to show you guys. Usually, I cook it on that slow, super duper heat, but this is not going to. I'm just going to add half teaspoon of vanilla acid. This is going to give it a fragrance that you would just want to eat the full dessert. Whenever I went to stores with any of the kids, they always asked me for Rice Krispie Marshmallow treats. And there are so many times I can't buy them because of allergy reasons. So this is the best recipe I saw somewhere and I altered it a little bit. So, okay, now this is melted. In this melted uh, mixture, now you want to quickly keep the heat really low so it doesn't One cup. Another cup. And you just want to mix it like this. So All you have to do is just mix it nicely. Once this is just mixed, you don't want it too much because um, it will get soggy. This is the perfect treat for everybody, especially in the holiday season. So that's why I made it just now so everybody can enjoy their treats in the holidays. even for your get-togethers, your parties. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to put our tiny marshmallows. At this point, you want to turn off the heat because you don't want, so the heat is gone. And now I'm just trying to mix these marshmallows in there. I wanted to show you this without any cutting uh, in the videos because this is just a quick procedure and you should be able to know what exactly happened. You don't want uh, too much of this. See how this will melt? You can see the strings um, in the marshmallow. Yes, you can see the strings. If I mix it too much in the heat, it's going to the marshmallow chunks that kids love to see are going to melt. Now I'm going to quickly transfer this to the plate. I did not put, you can use a wax paper, but I just used this Pyrex plate and I poured it in because last time it did not get stuck on it. I'm just you can make squares, you could do the, all the fancy stuff in the trays, but I like to keep it fast because when you're working with kids, you're dealing with house stuff, you don't have too much time for so many of this. Um, decorations, if you're doing too many things in one day. So you can put it in mold, you can put it with um, Rice Krispie cereals, there you go. And this is, see, so basically I just flattened it, any shape, even you can make small balls with it. If you use Rice Krispies, you can use, uh, I just use these um, Oreo uh, whole grain honeycomb cereal. So this cereal my kids did not like as much, so when I make this, they just want to eat it. So this is a very good to-go snack even for grown-ups for kids.
camping or for parties or for those kids who don't like to eat that much the mothers can just give them this and tell them this is a cookie and dip it in water uh, I mean dip it in milk drink it with milk you know all the creative ways okay now we kept it like this just five minutes you leave it like this it's already cold and I'll show you the texture of this So this is almost ready to eat in two minutes and you can see it did not get stuck the cooler it gets it just doesn't get stuck with it so no need for wax paper or anything this is just a perfect present if you can make goodie bags wrap it in foil wrap it in cling or the other uh, wrappers and um, give them as a holiday gift especially for people who have allergies you can customize it gluten-free lactose-free whatever some people are allergic to food colors so make it and give it to them as a present they're gonna love it and it smells so good you're just gonna love it. Store it and it's good for so many days. Put it in the fridge so you don't need to worry about it. It's just so, hmm, yum. You can hear the crunch. So the cereal is exactly like how you find it in the boxes. Super fresh. Okay, so I'm biting it with my mouth open so you can hear the crunch. Okay, I can't wait for you to try. Please comment in the box and subscribe to AAI Activities YouTube channel and let me know the recipes if you like. I'll put them up for you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. There. Yeah, that's fine. So, hold on. Just keep making this video. <laughs> hold on. Just keep it there. Is that? And hold on. Good. Are you throwing it? No, I'm eating it. Wait. Pause it.